today's video, I'd like to go over parameterized views and how you can implement them in Oracle. So or Oracle parameterized views, use in order to implement them, you're going to use a couple of uh, constructs of the database, one's being a sys context, which, is, which would allow you to store the values of your parameters in, in memory and refer to them in the view. And then in order to set these, you're going to have to call DBMS session, which is an Oracle PL SQL package. And it's got a method named set context that allows you to set these context values. And I've used this to inject values into queries of inner queries inside views. And you can get dramatic performance improvements because you're pushing the value of the parameter inside of an inner query where Oracle can in read the indexed value very quickly. So there are three schema objects that we're going to need to create in order to implement a parameterized view. One being a context, and then we're going to need to create a PL SQL package so we can assign the values. And then we're going to have to create a view that refers to the context variable. And here's the syntax, and I'll dump this in the description of the video so you guys have some, some syntax to play with. So we've got create context, and we give it a name. And then we have to say using, and then that's, this is the name of the PL SQL package that we're going to create to manage the values of the context variables. And then, of course, you've got the create package and give it the, the name of the package, which in this case I'm named context API. So here is the context API PL SQL package. And again, before we create the package, we need to create the context variable, which is named my context. And we're just saying using context API. And this is the PL SQL package behind context API. And there's just one method that we're using. It's got a couple of variations. And that is the set parameter method. And you just pass in a name and a value. And in this case, they're both strings. And we can convert them to other data types if we need to. So the set context method, you have to pass it in the context that you're setting and then a name and a value. And in this case, this is just to make it easier. We don't have to name the context since we're always calling it uh, my context. And we just pass in a name and a value. Or if you want, if you prefer, you can pass in the name and the context and the name and the value. So that's it. That's the context API PL SQL package. And here's the sample view. We've got a view named v or a param view. And this particular view is going to an order header and order details tables. And it's getting the most recent order for every customer in our database. And what we're doing here is we're passing in the customer ID as a context variable. And what would have to happen if we didn't have this? Because what we're doing is we're getting the most recent order by customer. That's what this construct is doing here, with the row number or, and then the over partition by customer. And we order by the, the order date descending. So basically, we're assigning a number of one to the most recent order for each customer. If we've got millions of customers and millions of orders in our database, we're going to have to scan through all of them to figure out who the most recent customer is. You know, we might even have an index on it, but it's still going to have to scan the index because we're looking at all customers. But what we're doing here is we're passing in the customer ID into the inner view. And this allows us to do an index lookup on customer ID, which is going to be a lot faster than scanning for every customer's most recent order. And this filter at the end is just picking out that most recent order. Here's an example usage. So all we're going to do is we're going to call our PL SQL package context API and the set parameter method. We're passing in customer ID and we're saying customer ID 100. So this is going to give us all the recent, most recent order information for customer ID 100 from the view. And here's just a simple select statement. So this will select order number, order amount, item description, line amount from our view. And it's going to filter on customer ID 100 because that's what we've set here. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Questions? Send them to me. Thanks. Bye.